Hey everybody. <coughs> Shoot, I should have coughed first, sorry. How is it going? Hope you're all doing good. It's fortune cookie night. And uh, cheating a little bit tonight. Starting with the game that we played last night. Because I played it over on uh, Juker's channel last night. And we beat it. But the game was a bit harder than I remembered it being. So, and also we got robbed of some of the good music because uh, we were playing an emulated version of the game. So I figured I'd bust out the old Xbox 360 and play the actual copy of the game where it won't just completely destroy the soundtrack. So I'm kind of back to get a little bit of revenge tonight, even though we beat the game perfectly fine last night. Scott Pilgrim is in love with Ramona Flowers. But, and it's a big but, he must defeat his, her seven evil ex-boyfriends. There they are. With the help of his friends, he will punch people in the face. Fight! Ubisoft presents Scott Pilgrim vs. The World of the Game, a game you sadly cannot buy anymore, thanks to licensing issues. Sucks. But apparently, as I learned last night, uh, you can just emulate it now. Which surprised me. But it works better than I expected last night, aside from the soundtrack being very glitchy. So, let's enjoy the soundtrack properly this time. Although, like I said, this is gonna be a run back for me. So let me just make sure something here. Good, Wallace is there. So, I played this game a lot when it was a new release. So I have Scott, Kim, Stills, and Ramona all at max level. Nega Scott as well. Knives is only at level seven because she was like later DLC, and then Wallace was even later DLC, which I bought on stream back in like 2014, 2015. But since I'm doing a run back, we're playing as Kim. My girl Kim Pine, let's go. Because we're going to do the final stage. Almost every time we've streamed this, which I think we've only streamed it once, twice technically. Uh, we've started with stage one, so how about we start with the last stage instead? Oh Just going straight to the point. Battle of the Chaos Theater, Gideon's last stand. It's time for Kim to do what Scott couldn't. Punch people in the face. All right, got four and a half minutes to get to the bottom of this elevator shaft. God, the sound effects are a lot sharper than they were last night, and it's throwing me off a little bit. Oh god, yeah, that's gonna sound really weird with the dogs, too. Sorry, I just gotta beat up some, some Dobermans, don't mind. Don't mind me. Why are the sound effects so... ...loud? Did I... Did I fuck with the sound balance? No, they're... They're default. What? <laughs> Alright! Whatever. Let's just keep going. Yeah, so this is this is my max level Kim. She is she's max level on everything. She's got all her moves and she's got 100 on everything. So she's going to feel a lot better than the Kim I used last night was. And then we fell off the shaft anyways. Oh shit. Okay. I do appreciate it when they just kind of throw themselves off. Bye. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Excuse me. I'm busy smashing things. Do you mind? Oh, 
Excuse me! Get off! My elevator! Yeah, I think it just it's definitely scaled the enemy count last night, because this is a lot less. Oh, good. So, so we didn't even get to the end of the elevator section, because this definitely didn't happen last night either. Oh god! I'm gonna just take this now. Oh my god, how many fucking rounds of this elevator is there? What? Just flogging my hands. Alright, we're gonna have to use the hyper butt. There we go, perfect. Take this with me. Perfect. I guess I could have just opened the door. Behold, Gideon Graves! Super Gideon Graves! Thumbs down. Not a fan. Let's fight! Oh shit, he's got a star man. And he's got his power strut. But I've got a stick. Oh, and he's got meteorites. Oh, that's that's also a problem. Anytime you want to land. Alright, so uh, how you guys doing today? You having a good time? I don't think Gideon necessarily is. This is what I remember this boss fight being like. That's why I was so confused yesterday. Oh, I pissed him off. Oh, I very much pissed him off. Almost. Oh, come on, really? Not even near me. Oh shit, too fast. You dead yet? There we go. Keep hitting him! Keep hitting him! Don't let him land! Damn it! Can you please ask Gideon Graves to dial back in the swag by 120%, please? It is a lot of fucking swag, I will give you that. Oh, we landed. Alright, well. I guess I should go beat up someone. By cartwheeling everywhere! Please note, cartwheeling everywhere is actually not a good strategy. It's very dangerous. Oh shit. Case in point. Almost. Oh, you put me there? Alright. Cool. Hi, Gideon! This is a present from me to you. Well, I guess let's go life. punch him in the face. What? Or will we grab the power of love? Well, friends, I look let's forward go. to meeting you people again. Come on, Gideon, where the fuck are you? Oh. Oh. Giga D engraves! Remote data, this guy powers unbeatable. Except. Why is this so loud? What the fuck did they do to the mixing on this? 
The fuck did this game do to the mixing when they did that patch ages ago? This, this is going like how I remember this fight being. I guess I was wrong last night about the stage uh, breaking. It definitely does do that. Keep going, Kim, you can do it. Oh shit. Cartwheel! Oh shit! Oh, I think he's dead, because he's actually not taking damage anymore. There we go. Kim's possessed by pure rage. See if the sword respawns in single player? No, I think I was actually wrong about that. I think it actually does disappear, unfortunately, which sucks. And there we go. Now he runs away again. Let's go beat him up. And another hot jam. Let's go. Get back here, Gideon! Wow, now there's no sound effects. Cool! Great! <laughs> what the fuck did they do? What did they do when they added the online to this game? Jesus Christ! Uh oh. I'm okay, don't worry. Oh shit, maybe I'm not okay. Walk into my hand. Just walk into my hand. That's not my hand. What is with the sound balance? What the fuck did they do? Thanks, mate. Get up, Kim. It's not over yet. There we go. Doing great. Doing great. Some guns, no big deal. Oh shit, maybe a big deal. Get up, Kim. It's not over yet. Oh shit. Get him, get him. Don't let him get away. Finally, some money. Oh shit! Piss him off. Uh. Dude, what the fuck is up with this? This is so weird. Oh shit. Uh, this is my last bit before I die. Gotta make this count. Boy, I sure made that count. Come on. No! Get up, Kim! Slap like your left depends on it. It kind of does. 
And we're down. Damn it. Well, we were doing good. Oh, we're nowhere near the shop. Never mind. Robo Ninja Girls, look out! Oh shit, oh shit. Yeah, we were in trouble. So one of these days, I will remember you can just counter in the game. It's just way easier to just to counter. And then the counter missed. Perfect. <laughs> uh, Gideon? Nah, no, this this seems normal. This seems normal for Gideon. Alright, let's uh let's buy some stuff. How about an E-tank? And we'll get one to go. Alright, well, bye. I'm gonna go beat up your boss now. Oh man, the game cannot handle me playing this right now. It does not like the speed I'm playing this. Pay no attention to the jars above the containers. I know what I just said. Just don't think about it. I'll take the stick with me. And let's uh, let's go fight the final boss. Hi, Gideon. I'm gonna hit you with the stick now. Gideon Graves! This is the real Gideon. Powers unknown. Thumbs down. Let's go. All right, so how was your guys' day so far? Um, I hope you guys are excited for a good, powerful cookie tonight. And as you can see, we're starting off with a real banger. Scott Pilgrim is the world of the game. Excellent game, highly recommend it. Just really wish you could get it anymore. And my stick's broke. No, it's not, it's still there. Give my stick back. I'm gonna knee with a crotch so you give my stick back. Why is it hiccuping like that? Okay. We're gonna play this way, are we? Get back here. We're not done yet. Not by any stretch. Get up, Gideon. Get up! Oh shit. We mad. Come on, we're not over yet. I'm I'm kneeing you in the crotch game. Get back here. Okay, maybe I should stop trying to do that, because that's definitely leading me getting damaged. Ooh, he does not want me getting the stick back. Okay, okay. Alright. No more landing for you. No more safe. Oh, maybe some safety. Dick. It ain't over! You are not having any children anytime soon after this fight. Or ever, really. Nope! Still not over! Oh, 
Oh, he's tired. He's tired! Probably because he keeps getting his balls destroyed. <laughs> you think he wants kids? Well, he ain't having the option anymore. And all that for a Mega Man 2 reference. Break. No, we're gonna taunt him first. Make him regret ever messing with Kim Pine, the world's most powerful Scott Pilgrim character. I tried to go for the grab, it's not an option. Just gonna stand here. There you go! Game caught up! Area clear! 63 kills! 1393 experience, $71.90 Canadian. Guess I should leave now. Bye! Well, good thing I found the CN Tower. I'm gonna just watch from here. Blew up his house. And made him put up an underwear flag. That's how that's how rough it was. Now the city's back to normal. And now we'll celebrate! With a rainbow and shrugging! Power shrugging. And so Kim walked towards Scott, smiling suggestively. Scott was nervous. What could she want? But then she walked straight past him and walked into the sunset with Knife Chow. Huh? The end! I don't know why it's hitching so much. That's so weird. It, this is... So this game might not hold up as well as I remember it holding up. It's still fun. Especially with multiple people, but, uh, but man, I don't know what the fuck they did to patch this game for the online mode, but it runs like shit at times. Is it Knives like 14? No, she's like 17. Or is she 18? I think she's 18 by the end of the, uh, by the end of the book. Or the end of the series, rather. I'm getting, yep, confirmation, 17 and 18. Yeah, 17 year old, 18 year old in volume six. There we go. Yeah, she's finishing up high school at the at the beginning of the book and then, uh, or at the beginning of the series and then by the end, supposedly years happened, the years passed, so. She turns 18 and one of the things Scott asks is how does it feel to not legally be a child in the eyes of the law? God, there's so many weird things in that series. Can I skip this? Oh, right, I can't. Right, Ubisoft. Cool. Wallace, Scott's gay roommate. Scott Pilgrim, new move unlocked. Paul Robertson, who did all the sprites. They're all good, except for Wallace's. Wallace's is bad. <laughs> Yeah, we're not gonna watch all this. Uh, but I think I actually need, if I want my stats to save, I think I actually need to let that play out, which sucks. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, go to the cookie. Because for some fucking reason, it's 12 minute long credits. Show off Wallace. Someone said I can just quit out and come back. If someone said, I'll try it. Let's hope that doesn't break anything. Yeah, no, the credits for the game are stupidly long. Almost. At least I'll get that right. 
In other words, Scott Pilgrim is the precursor to BoJack Horseman. I don't know about that, Cardian. Longer than Mighty Number no. 9's? No, Mighty Number no. 9's pr pretty much owns a record, I think, at this point. Well, the good news is I can skip most everything to get right back here. Alright, we'll assume that was fine. Someone wanted me to show off Wallace here, so let's do it. Wallace has red shirt. That is actual, like, movie outfit shirt. Lovely blue shirt. And then we got a nice purple sweater. Let's go with the red. Wallace is a reskin of Steven Stills, the talent. But, uh, they... I don't know if they got Paul Robertson back for it. Because, from what I saw when we were playing it with Juker the other day, it's got some weird jank. Let's see if I can see it here. Yes! Yes! It's actually real! Oh my god! I thought it was a weird emulation bug. No. This... This is his taunt. This is his taunt animation. You know. Remember how Kim had that well-animated, like, butt slap? This is what Wallace got. Two frames of drinking and popping around during the animation. Did Wallace cost money? He sure did! He cost like five bucks! He also got the online multiplayer with it too, but... It, uh... <laughs> is bad. That's not on purpose? I don't think so! And again, he's also just a reskin of one of the other characters. So his moveset's basically the same. His ending, also, oh my god. His ending is also really bad. It's very low budget. Also, the online. Ooh, buddy. I actually went back and looked at the time that we streamed the online, and I forgot how bad it ran, and the fact that it literally crashed on stage one. Will you show it on YouTube? Yes, I will. I'll show it on stream, don't worry. Is it worse than Nintendo's? Uh, it is a special kind of bad. In that there's, well, I'd say bad, but really it's just that they didn't do anything with it. God, I feel so slow now after, like, Super Saiyan Kim Pine here. I just feel so slow by comparison. What's his assist? Uh, that's a good question. Just the default knives one. Oh yeah, I didn't even show off Kim's. <laughs> didn't even need it. Oh my god, come on. Like, someone was telling me the other day, uh, that even, like, Knives is just a reskin of Kim in a way. But at least she had some original animations and stuff. Like, I feel like the only thing they added to to Wallace was the rainbow. Just because they really couldn't think of anything else to do. What else... <laughs> what defines Wallace's character, aside from his gayness? Ah, let's just add on to it. Something tells me it wasn't a, a matter of pride that they added that. That would be the respectable answer, but something tells me, uh, just like the sign says, no or on.
and what's sad is that he's partly psychic because of his boyfriend, and they could have done something with that. They could have done so much stuff with Wallace, and he's literally, like, he just plays like Stills. Uh, I, I think I've told this story before on stream here, but, like, we were going to do a TRG playthrough of Scott Pilgrim vs. The World of Game. And, uh, we decided to, for one of the many reasons, we decided to wait until, uh, they added Wallace to the game as a playable. And, uh... I think it took him three years post-game release to release him as a playable character. And then it was a super phone-in job, and then somehow the game got buggier in the process, so it was just like this big letdown. And then they lost the license of the game, so now you can't even buy the fucking game anymore. So like Juker was saying last night, if you were watching Juker's stream, where we were playing this, uh, it's basically abandonware now. So you can emulate it if you have a PS3 emulator. So you can still play it, it just won't be the same. At least there's River City Girls. That's true, I think some of the people that worked on River City Girls... ...might have worked on this. And there's also, was it Phantom Breaker Battlegrounds? I keep hearing compared to a lot. I don't know. Wallace is my favorite character, and he had a lot of potential for a lot of different things. And I really feel like they dropped the ball so hard on it. Bakers is pretty good, not a huge fan of the lane setup, but the animation and combat is really good. That's probably why most people compare it, then, because of the animations, because I know the animations, the sprite work in that game is real nice. Oh, shit. What is this panic attack? He... Breaks a ball of alcohol. All right, that's at least the most in character for Wallace, at least. And also still kind of crappy because it's still just stills animation. Oh, it's my back attack, right? Must, what? What is stills back attack? Nice. I'll never find out because he doesn't want to do that. I just watched the movie last year in November. Wallace was the roommate of Scott? Yes. Scott's gay roommate, as the as the movie and the books kind of constantly hammer towards you. They, uh, they... It's funny. Uh, there's been a lot of discussion lately about, like, people not liking Scott Pilgrim anymore, or, like, not liking the movie. But what I find funny is a lot of shit actually kind of aged a little poorly. I don't know, like, I, I can't think of too many examples, but I can just say, like, it does feel like a product of his time, despite it only being, like, ten years ago for the movie. Do they make Wallace like Stills, or do they make Stills like Wallace? There's a three-year difference between the release of the two characters. They made Wallace like Stills. Also, not a fan of beating up dogs. Especially when they keep making this sound every time you punch them. Maybe that's just me. Wallace is the character involved in the scene of knives coming to the house and Scott yeeting himself out of the window when Wallace says, yeah, he just left. Yes, that is Wallace. It's played by Kieran Culkin, so Macaulay Culkin's brother. In the movie, anyways. So the game looks good, but other than that, it's dated. Oh, the game itself, again, the game has some balance issues, I would argue, with the end of the game, but, like, if you're leveled up enough, it's not a big deal. I do know that Brian Lee O'Malley is trying to get a, uh, a re-release of this game out somehow. He's trying to find some way to get the license back so he can, like, get it out there again. Because a lot of people say this is one of the better things that came out of the license, and I think I kind of agree. I do like the books and all, and I think the movie's fun. But uh, this game, 
was shockingly good for its time. The stance on vegans, the stance on gays, the stance on romance didn't age well as how to handle a relationship in a healthy versus toxic way. Yeah, no, Scott Pilgrim has a proper lesson. There's actual lessons in the story. Uh, but I think they, they kind of get around it in a ham-fisted way. But then again, this is what that was what, Brian Lee O'Malley's second book series? So honestly, not bad for just the second series, especially taking off the way it did. Knives, I need your help. Oh, that's gonna cost me health to do that. That was a bad idea. No, I don't. Ah, oh, fuck, you do. Get up. Not having a down attack really sucks. Because those, he those heavy hitters are just super deadly. All right, so what do you guys want me to do? You guys want me to finish this stage? Or you just want me to like stop? Because we're at the halfway point, basically, of the stage. I do not have the money for that. Lots of people wanting cookie. All right, that's fair. Well, let me let me buy a nice latte first. Cool. Bye. Yeah, we've seen enough. I'll play this on my own time. I mean... As long as you have the means to. You can, like we were saying, you can emulate it now, but uh, you gotta have a decent computer for it. But, on that note, let's go to the cookie. Oh, shoot, forgot to turn on the screen treasures and oops. Alright, so for those of you that are new here, here's how this works. We pick five random games out of my game collection and you guys vote on a straw poll link dropped by one of the mods to see what game we play next. It, honestly, it could be Scott Pilgrim again, I don't know, it's on there somewhere. Uh, otherwise... We'll pick five random games. Let's see what's going to happen. Game number one. Oh, shit. Wallace is ending. Fuck. Uh, I'll do it before we go to break. I'll do it before we go to break. Let's do the vote, then we'll do the break. We'll do the vote, and then we'll show the video. Because I need I need time to go get the video anyways. Game number one. A Bug's Life for the N64. Wait, Anamanaguchi did the music for Scott Pilgrim? Yeah. No, that's like one of the things they're known for. That soundtrack is great. Game number two, Prinny. Can I really be the hero for the PSP? That is the Disgaea spinoff that is basically Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Background music is super low. This is the same level it's always been. I don't change this song's volume. I think Scott was Scott Pilgrim had just been too loud. Actually, hang on now. Did let me make sure on something before No? Yeah, that's really just the level it's supposed to be at. Weird. Why is everyone saying dude? That's how I know you've never played this guy. Game number three. Little Nemo the Dream Master for the NES, an excellent Capcom platformer. Game number four. Racing rats for the Game Boy Color. And last but not least. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone for the PlayStation 1. That's a list. Those are in fact five games.
That's gonna be a thing. All right, let's see what you guys want to vote for. Give a second. One of the mods will drop the straw poll link in the chat. There you go. Dan's got it. Click that link. Vote to see what game we play next. I'm gonna vote for this, but uh, currently in the lead is the following game. Well, you guys are gonna cut this one close, huh? All right, I see how it is. Uh, Prinny, can I really be the hero? Currently in the lead, 139 votes and rising very quickly. 38% of the vote. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone right behind it, 170 votes, 33% of the vote. A Bug's Life in third place, 69 votes, 12% of the vote. Nice. Little Name of the Dream Master, 67 votes, 11%. And Race and Rats, 35 votes, 5%. 650 votes clock so far. My headset is trapped. Oh, I see what I did. My Xbox controller trapped it. All right. Minute and a half on the clock starting now. Whatever game is in the lead at the end of that timer, that's the game that we play next. If for some reason the game in second place is 1% away or less from the leader, it will be brought over to the next poll as an extra option. For those of you who haven't seen Cookie before, we go through about four to five games a night, playing them about a half hour to 45 minutes each, somewhere in that range. Longer if we're digging it. So uh, yeah, we have a couple chances to see what we're playing tonight. Will it be Prinny or will it be Harry Potter? Uh... Oh, there it is. Okay, for a second I couldn't spot the game. I was getting a little, little worried. All right. 50 seconds remain. Prinny leads 328 to 288. So it's a 50 vote gap right now. It can still come back from that. It is entirely possible. Oh, my volume settings did get fucked up at some point. Alright, and while that's going on, I'm gonna get that video ready. You guys have 18 seconds left, and it's a 40 vote gap. You've shrunk it down. I hope I can spell Wallace. There we go. Time's up, 346 to 307. Prinny, can I really be the hero for PSP, is the winner. Well, we're gonna get the fuck around with the capture cards again, so here's hoping that's not gonna be an issue, but that's what we're playing next on Fortune Cookie. Meanwhile, I did promise to show you Wallace's ending. So this was the video I sent to Juker last night. Yeah, apparently it's, it's someone's playthrough of the game. They're watching, they're like, they're commentating a bit on it. Here's the whole fight we did with, uh, with Gideon. And his ending kicks in... Right about here. And so! Wallace sat in a chair. Confetti fell. That's it. That was That's it? That's the ending. Please tell me this is not it. The, even the co-con, even the guy who recorded this video couldn't fucking believe it. The end! Hooray! People paid five dollars for that! I'm also gonna point out, uh, Knives was also a DLC character. So, this, Wallace was the second DLC character added three years later when the online mode got added and it had been promised since launch of the game. I should point that out as well. Oops, you're, oh no, you don't want to see that. Uh, hang on a second here. Uh, by comparison, Here's Knives' ending. And so, Knives jumped into Scott's arms and kissed him. Suddenly, confetti fell from the sky. It was their wedding day. Knives looked lovely in her gown. All of Scott's friends were there to see. Scott was very confused. The end! Yeah, 
little, little, little bit more effort. Little, little bit more effort put in there. Just a tiny bit more. Just a wee bit. So the thing about Wallace's taunt is that he was already in the game as a background character. I'm pretty sure his taunt is literally just poorly positioned sprites of him as a background character. Oh my god, I think you're actually right. I think you're actually right. God damn it. Wallace got robbed. I'm so sad. He was very much half-assed. All right, uh, let's drop some eggs. Rin Rin, ring a bell. Sente and Bramnet, thank you for the gift sub bombs. Jack is in for 28, Bramnet for 23, uh, Haru for 28, Gek 27, Hell X 1v2 for 48, Goofy Guy 19 for 25, That Unknown Skull for 41, Strawberry Flavor for 21, Gundam Girl 56 for 17, Capital Owens All for 19, Wandering Fences for 40, Solaris Polari for 19, The Math, The Mathy Fulf, I'm gonna get that right one of these days, The Mathy Fulf for 8. For Yuki Yuki, aka Winter for 34, Volt C64 for 24, Yomini 1 for 34, Nico Blaze Wind for 6, Derpy Shroom 95 or Derp Shroom 954 for 10, Matt Diaz for 9, PK Salmon for 24, uh, Kinesol for 2, Frozen Pyro for 52, Lovely Envy for 42, Gokai Orange for 20, Lizard Shaman for 67, Celerity 910 for 24, Joey Ginnerman for 45, Deviant Sin for 6, Dragon Force Star for 33, Nards of Doom for 31, Karamek for 21, Dark Sky Destiny for 2, Hurt Shadow Man for 34, Ninja 64 for 38, Silver Moon 551 for 13, Wolf. Wolf Kapu or Kupo, I'll get that right one of these days, for 9. Gold 16 for 18. The Bakes are for 26. Legerin for 47. Connie T for 19. Rob Wood 241 for 6. Ryder 082 for 39. Phantom SVT for 41. Pokemon Freak 97 for 21. Kator 2004 for 10. Andadron for 3. Aino Minako for 36. Diabito the CM for 13. Alongside Immortal Seeker for 64. Besident for 13. And Holy Dragon 7 for 46. Thank y'all for seven and hanging out tonight, guys. Uh, we're gonna go to break in a second, but your eggs are courtesy of the following people. Weird question, are web M's allowed for intermission too? Uh You know, I don't know. I don't actually have any web M's on the intermission wall. That's actually the web M's what I usually use for the uh for the alerts. All the Wario's are web M's. Oh, that's a lot of eggs. Uh, from Caleb, it's been a while, John. Don't worry, I brought gifts. It took three hours. Ah, you won't get away with this. <coughs> get away with what? <laughs> All I'm doing is opening everyone's eyes. To the wondrous world of meat smell! <laughs> oh my god. Not yet. What? No! You shouldn't be able to move with those injuries! You will give me an beautiful it's beautiful and for those who are wondering what the fuck was up with the meat smell thing is that still does that still work yes it does meatsmellers.com redirects to the stream page thanks mittens uh not dan sends in egg fl ladies and gentlemen this is the egg Oh, yeah, the XFL started today. I forgot about that. Trojan sends in, localized entirely within Luigi's Mansion. Aurora Borealis. At this time of year, at this time of day, in this part of the country, localized entirely within... Luigi's Mansion. Mash it. I thought it was going to be Emil yelling no. I'm kind of glad it wasn't, because I didn't have the volume slider ready to go. Uh, Trojan also sends in, you will give me a yatta. You will give me a yatta. That's not the yatta I thought I was getting, but thank you. 
And there's a lot more eggs, but I'm going to save those for later. So we'll play this last one from Trojan. You will, uh, sorry, just do another thing for me. Because people are running out of eggs lately, so I'm going to, I'm sparingly, I'm going to savor these eggs. You will give me Mendoza! <laughs> God, that's such, that's a clean one, too. That's such a clean Mendoza. God, that's good. I'm going to play that again. You will give me Mendoza! Goldman! Do you know what you're No, doing? not Goldman Mendoza! <laughs> I don't. Goldman, get out of here! It's Mendoza time! You will give me Mendoza! What? God, that's so clean. Thank you, Trojan. I fucking love that bit from The Simpsons. We're gonna go to break. When we come back, Prinny, can I really be the hero for PSP? See you guys in a bit. My son is also named Mendoza! Mendoza! Wow, it starts like back here, huh? Mendoza! God, it's so good. Turn off console. Go grab Cocoms. We are all out of Mendoza license plates. Mic's on? Yeah, I know. I don't want mic's on. I don't, I don't mute myself during breaks. You guys can hear me walking around and talking. Might be talking to myself in the process, but you can still hear me doing that. And farting? No, that's my goddamn chair. Here, just listen to this. That's my chair. It's so annoying. <laughs> yeah, don't try to sure me. I think anyone who farts that much does need to go to the doctor. It was the chair, I tell you. It was the chair. Cocons will be joining in a minute, but first, it's time for another entry in our lawn running segment of John has to do this. Give me Mendoza! Also, uh, this is a sealed copy, so I'm going to have to ASMR open it again.
For those who've never seen one of these before, do I? Have, it says my webcam is on this. It is not. Hi. Wow, it's very bright in this room for some reason. All right. This is the box for Prinny. Can I really be the hero? It's hard to see with all the, the bright light here. Hang on, let me find a darker. There we go, less light. Uh, it's a big boy box for the PSP. And it is still factory sealed. And I'm not gonna watch you, I'm not gonna let you watch me open it. You get to, uh, you get to listen to me. ASMR open it. Is it a collector's edition or something? No, this is the normal version of the game. Do you want to? You actually want to watch me open this? No, it's pornographic. <laughs> Fine. Hi. So labels for bot purposes is an ASMR game opening? No, don't do that. Keep forgetting I'm actually trying to keep it in front of the microphone so you can hear it, but then at the same time, you probably want to see it and the microphone's blocking it, so I've really defeated the purpose of exactly what I'm doing. Hey, yo. Yo, how's it going? Not bad. How are you, John's face? Good. I'm just... Opening my copy of Prinny, Can I Really Be the Hero for the PSP. Okay, I was wondering why your face cam was on just now. <laughs> yeah, no, they they wanted me to to open it. Ooh, guess what? Double duty, because the in the game inside is still sealed as well. Oh, snap. Oh shit, it's double ASMR today. Put it right by the microphone. Oh, and here's and the soundtrack. Whisper. Here's the soundtrack. Chilling out in my pretty mobile. Welcome to Relaxing Sounds 